alley-oop over to Benezza. Beckett, what a feed to Anthony, gets it to go. At the free throw line. Splash! Hello everyone and welcome in to the Max Stern Athletic Center for today's semifinal matchup between Eula and Valley Tora. This is the NTSY Summer Pre-Game Show and I'm joined right now by the two Avis, Avi Proctor, Avi Sabag. Avis, what do you guys think about this matchup today? Who's gonna come out on top? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a hot take over here. I played against Valley Tora and I played against Eula. I think Valley Tora is a very well coached team. I'm going Valley Tora by nine. Before I give the the mic over to Avi. I want to give a quick shout out to Yechil Kadosh, the guy you just saw him in the interview a second ago, NCSY jump shot camper, and also my guy Ryan Terrell. I played against him in high school. He did beat me when he played for Valley Tora, but um, that's my take for the game. Thanks so much, and it's good to be back here at the Max Center Athletic Center for Big Sunday. I used to call games back in the day, so you remember me. What's going on, guys? It's a familiar voice. Now, back over here next to the I think the Eula Panthers are not only going to win, but they're going to win big. They know this team, Valley. They prepared for them all year as they played them at least twice. Don't sleep on the Eula Panthers. We got six guys on this team going on Euro Israel, Morocco, Gibraltar, and Spain, and then they go to Israel. They're going to chill with a fat championship trophy when they're on the boat from Morocco to Spain. Guys, I'm excited for this matchup. I don't know about you. I am too. Thank you, Avi, so much. Coming up after this quick commercial break, we got lineups, we got tip off, we got semifinal basketball here on Max Live. Don't go anywhere. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. Through the alley for Terrell! Oh my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clipped today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are.
Hello and welcome back into the Maxton Athletic Center. Semi-final basketball between the Eula Panthers and the Valley Tour Wolfpack. I'm Charlie Bentheim alongside Asher Dower. The starting lineups are sponsored by the Yeshiva University Office of Admissions. As you start your college journey, make sure you visit us online to check out all the great events and opportunities we have for YU students. We are going to start with the sixth seeded Eula Panthers. Their starting five is as follows. Number two, Alex Gabay. Number 14, Josh Barak. Number 22, Yoni Hollander. Number 23, Yishai Rosenblatt. And number 35, Daniel Yashapur. Now Asher, who should we be looking out for on this Eula Panther team? Yeah, normally the leading scorer for the Eula Panthers, Yishai Rosenblatt, came out a little bit slow in Friday's game. Only finished with seven points. But some of the other players, some of the usually secondary players, Alex Kabai and Yoni Hollander, came out with some great games. Um, Alex Kabai with 15 points. Look for him to step it up in this one as well. And now, the starting five for the Valley Toro Wolfpack. They're ranked at number two. Johnny Dan, number 22, of course. Ethan List, number four. Noah Miyuchas, number three. Gabriel Rabibo, number 14. And Raz Vivante, number 24. Now, for this Wolfpack team, who should we keep an eye on? We know the two best players for the Valley Toro Wolfpack, arguably two of the best players in this entire tournament in Johnny Dan and Noam Mayuhas. Johnny Dan went for an incredible 42 points in Friday's game. Look for Eula to try and stop him defensively. It's going to be a tough task. All right, there you have it. We're almost ready for game time. Semi-final matchup winner. We'll play tomorrow in the Tier 1 Championship game at 2.20 here on Max Live. A lot on the line. The players are ready. The refs are ready. The fans are ready. We're ready. Semi-final basketball is underway. And the possession will start with the Wolfpack. Miyuchas, now Rabibo. List tries a deep three, got it. Out the gate, on the board. And we know Valator can strike it from behind the arc as Johnny Dan gets swatted from behind. You don't see that very often. Maybe a repeat of last year's swat against DRS in their championship game. Very reminiscent of that chase down block as Rosenblatt rose to the occasion and swatted it off the backboard. What an entertaining start to this one. Shot clock never started, so we'll redo that. In Valley Tour, they typically do this starting in a 1-2-2 press, not allowing you to bring it up the court too easily. Maybe denying Josh Brock the ball. We'll see if he was able to break it. Johnny Dan was able to come up with a quick forced turnover already on the first possession for Eula. We'll see what they do to respond. And here comes Barak. Dubai's first touches of the game. He'll try a mid-range jumper, leaves it short. Yashapur with the nice save. Another nice athletic catch. Yashapur gonna take it himself, uses his right hand. Right back come the Wolfpack. Miyuchas, another deep three. This time, it's no good. Barak had nothing. It's Johnny Dan, fast break. This one will fall. And we know Valley Tour loves to get out in transition. A lot of transition points both in the Thursday and Friday games. It's gonna be a key for Eula to get back defensively. And the intensity in this gym right now is second to none. As Hollander, he can hit those. Leaves this one a bit short. Possession hour goes to the Wolfpack. Yeah, we mentioned it before the game. Hollander with a big game on Friday, knocking down three triples. Look for him to continue to fire away out there. and He might be a major key for them in this one. It's Johnny Dan. 
getting doubled in the corner. That's an open three. Who wants the board? Rabibo cleans up the mess. 7-2, Wolfpack. Hollander. Now it's Barack. Floater. 7-4. And this Wolfpack team, even on made baskets, so quick down the court. Foul will be, ca will be called on Eshai Rosenblatt. That'll be his first. But they don't really give you any time to set up defensively. No, they don't. And a great take right there from Mayuhas. That's where the force the issue. Hasn't scored yet in the first minute 20 of this game. But that's how you get going early. Taking it right to the bucket, not able to get the first free throw to go. First one, no good. The energy in this building is off the charts. Both teams have stellar fan bases. As Mayuhas goes one for two. Crossport to Dubai. He'll try another mid-ranger. This time he gets it to fall. Johnny Dan thought about a deep three. Instead of, it's Miyukas. To list. Deep three. Air ball. Seems like it's been a, ma a maker and air ball early on this game. Yeah, it has. List with his third three-point attempt already in the first three minutes of this game. Not able to get it to go. You saw Coach Leo Schwartz with the Valley Tora. Go and say something to this. I think he's telling him to slow it down a little bit, work the ball around, and wait to get those shots late. Yvante grabbed that rebound off a hard take by Dubai. Miyuchas. In and out. They're not afraid to let it fly. Goodbye, works his way inside. Layup doesn't go. Ball on the ground. Here back up the Wolfpack. It's List. That'll be a charge. And a great charge taken right there from Rosenblatt. Normally known for his offensive firepower, showing he can do it on both ends of the floor, taking the charge right there. Dangerous pass cross court. It's goodbye. Stolen. By Bivante and Miyukas is fouled by Yashrikor. So, a turnover there. It's been an exciting start to this game. We're three and a half minutes in, eight to six Valley Toro. It's been really high flying. Yes, it has. And don't want to be premature, but already three fouls on the Valley Toro, on the, on the Eula Panthers. So, Hopefully they don't get into foul trouble early. Send Valley toward the line where you know they can be dangerous. It's something to look out for because both of these teams like their starting five. They don't have such deep benches. As is John again. Getting tripled. Beautiful feed inside. Layup no good. Follow up is blocked. And back come the Panthers. Rosenblatt's been all over the place defensively to start this game. Goodbye loves that mid-range jumper. And you see why there. Game all tied up at eight. That's an open three. Count them all. Vivante. Wow, back and forth we go. It's Robin, who had just checked in for Eula. Goodbye, couldn't corral it. Eula will reset with Barak. Beautiful crossover. Gets inside, absorbs the contact, layup no good. Dan, he did it again. Another three for the Wolfpack. And almost poked away, he's on the floor, who wants it more? Jump ball, Yuba will keep possession of it. And although you will keep in possession right there, that is what makes Johnny Dan so great. Hasn't typically been known for his shooting, though on Friday had a ludicrous 42 points against the KYHS Storm. But what separates him from the pack is his hustle. 
He did it last year. He's doing it again this year. Diving on the ball, diving on the floor for every single loose ball. Look for him to continue that aggressiveness throughout. And he's so impressive defensively. He really doesn't play, take a play off. Never. As Javizad for Ayula loses it. But Robin got it back. Just flips it up at the hoop and it rolls out. And back comes Johnny Dan. That's a three. Back iron. Hollander with the board. Good box out right there from Hollander. The bye left it. Miyuchas takes it. Has Dan. He'll take it himself. Euro foul from behind. Nope, they did not call it a foul. They called it a, a clean block. And lucky for you, because that would have been the second on Rosenblatt, I believe. So fortunate for them right there that their star scorer can stay in this one. That'll be a foul off the inbounds play. Rabibo got position inside, and I'll get two shots at the line. Asher, it's been high flying. What have you seen so far? Yeah, first of all, on that inbound, way too easy. A quick bounce pass right under the hoop to Rabibo. If he was going to take this game, they can't have mental lapses like that right there. But the entire way, Valley Tora has done what they do best, firing from beyond the arc. The vast majority of their shot attempts coming from deep. Feels like they haven't even been hitting so many, but somehow they have 15 points already. Johnny Tan, Mayuhas, List all striking from deep. They'll continue to fire away from that there the entire game if Yula doesn't close out with Jules. That's an open three for Hollander. No good. It'll stay with the Panthers. We like to thank Dougie's for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best barbecue and grill in Teaneck, make your way to Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBBQ.com to order. The link is in the description of this video. So as you enjoy the semifinal tier one match, maybe have some Dougie's along with it. As Yashra Kors got it. Throws it up with his right hand. Dan's got the rebound. And List wants it. And he's got it. And he's open. And he buries it. Timeout, Eula. That's how you start a game if you're the Wolfpack. NCSY Summer is the premier summer trip provider for Jewish teens across the world with over 20 programs spanning the US, Israel, Europe. NCSY Summer can find something for you. Visit summer.ncsy.com. Org. Now, what do you think Coach Mizell is telling his Panthers team in this huddle? Number one, close out on shooters. Way too easy for them so far. We know that Valley Toro makes their living from behind the arc and just too many mental lapses. We mentioned it before the game, but Valley Toro probably with a more skilled roster than Eula. The only way Eula is going to be able to pull out a victory in this one is the toughness. Getting on the floor for loose balls. Charging the basket for offensive rebound opportunities. Same issue as before, the shot clock issue. Figure that out. Yeah, but it's gonna require a lot of heart from Eula. This Valley Tour team on paper, one of the more skilled teams we've ever seen in the Saracek tournament. Definitely, but what really separates them is that not only are they so skilled, but they're also willing to do all the dirty work. All of their best players are gritty as well. And Johnny Dan and Noel Mayuhas. The bye throws up a wild attempt. Rebound is spot four on the ground. It'll be Wolfpack basketball. Unclear whether that was a travel or a jump ball. Seems like it was a travel because the possession hour arrow has not changed. 18 to 8, 137 to go here in what's been in a very entertaining first quarter of semifinal basketball. Winner will find himself in the tier one championship. Miyuchas. List, another three. Looked good, a little strong. And it'll be Yule basketball. 
And it looks like Vila may have just switched to an extended 2-3 zone, closing out on all shooters, not allowing them to get anything open from out there. Ball almost stolen. Robin gets fouled. See the replay here. A little fanciness. Almost got punished for it. Ishai Rosenblatt, the star of this EULA team, hasn't done much offensively, but, be, but defensively he's been a thorn in the side of this World Pack team. He has indeed, and we know Coach Leo Schwartzberg always watching film of his opponents before the game. You can bet he knows how dangerous Rosenblatt is on the offensive end. Putting their best play, putting their arguably probably the second best defender in Noah Mayhaus at him, not letting him get anything going offensively. Robin, a couple crosses, gets inside, layup, no. Here comes Mayuchas, thought about a three, has he got inside and finished. This Wolfpack team is impressive. A beautiful Hezzy right there for Mayuchas, blowing by Rosenblatt right there. Not much else you can do defensively, you know that he can strike it from out there, so you have to close out. And a great job by, by Mayuchas recognizing that. Great defensive stand by Rabibo. And it's Dan. Miyuchas. One second differential between shot and game. Miyuchas around the whole court. Kick out, open three. Too strong. Yashapur grabs it with two. And the shot clock should be turned off. And it is. Chavizad. Kick out, that's Robin. Got it. A big three at the end of the first quarter. Dan's gonna have to throw up a prayer. Does just that. No good. What an entertaining and high-flying first quarter. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back into the Maxter Athletic Center. The Wolfpack lead the Panthers by a score of 22-11. Follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with Pathways Dual Degree or Early Assurance Program. Join us at our March Info Sessions taking place both on Zoom or on campus. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info dash dash sessions. That's yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions. Start planning for your future today. Eight minutes left in this first half. Yeah, yeah. Let's not underestimate the importance of that three at the end of the quarter by Judah Robin right there. Being down 12 going into the second versus being down nine is night and day. A lot more confidence probably for you all going into this quarter. And they've been having a, a relatively easy time getting inside. They haven't really kicked it out much. It's been tough. Tough layups as Yashapur has a dangerous pass and it's stolen. And it's Cohen Tag who got this deal number two, checked in for the Wolfpack. List getting doubled and he throws it away. Here comes Barak. Cohen Tag up back on defense. Yuchas did a nice job to alter that shot. List, mid ranger, no good. Rosenblatt grabs it, and it's back the Panthers' way. Dangerous pass. Gets to Robin, though, and they'll slow it down. <laughs> Offensive foul called on Yashapur. And Robin, able to knock down that mid-ranger after the whistle. Unfortunate for them, with Yashapur getting called for the moving screen. And you see he sort of threw a shoulder a little bit. So that'll get called every time. That's a three from Dan. No good. He's got his own rebound. What a pass. Inside, layup is good. 
Rabibo, the beneficiary of a beautiful save and a crazy pass. And that's what Johnny Dan can do. Taking a tough contested three. Maybe a little bit lazy on the box out right there from Hollander. Johnny Dan going right after the offensive rebound, throwing a nice pass to Rabibo. And look at them run. Corner, Miyuchas, that's a three. Oh, rolls around the rim and doesn't fall. Timeout, Eula. Wow, this Wolfpack team is high flying. 22 to 11, 6.22 to go here in the second quarter. Quick commercial break, don't go anywhere. Twenty-two to eleven. The battle of two LA teams, and I'm sitting next to an LAer myself. An LAer. An LAer. An Asher Dower. Asher, what's it like coming to the Saratech tournament and competing in New York, coming all the way from LA? Always a great time. Putting your skills on display in front of all of these New Yorkers. You know, the LA schools have done, have been very successful in previous years. I believe there's been an LA team in the championship, in the championships the past six years, dating back to 2016. So three out of four teams right now in the semifinals, and both of these two teams, and shall have it versus SAR in the next game, guaranteed at least one LA team in the championship to keep that streak alive this year as well. Asher, you're obviously a Saracek MVP, I believe. Indeed. Anything else? Nope, that's just, want, just wanted to put that out there. Just want to pump your tires a little bit. And that ball stolen. And back comes Johnny Dan. Another shot clock issue. And this one goes to the detriment of Valley Tora. They were on the fast break. Yes, they were. Love to see Jack Terrell right in front of the booth right here. During the timeout, jumping up and down with the baby on his shoulders. I believe that's his baby, but knowing Jack Terrell, wouldn't be surprised if it's someone else's. Miyuchas. <laughs> that's no good on the turnaround by Cohen Tag. And it's goodbye. Dan, hungry for another steal. Beautiful move by goodbye, lays it up and in. Great take right there from Dubai. He's going to have to continue to be aggressive in this one. Already with six points in this game. Almost half of you was point total. Look for him to continue to attack the rim. Ball poked out of bounds by Robin. He'll stay with the Wolfpack. Checking into the game now, Noam Steinloff. Premier defender for this Euler Panther team. Dan, that's deep. Short, Miyuchas on the follow. No good. And finally, it's collected by goodbye. And although they were able to collect that, too easy for Miyuchas swinging into the lane for that offensive rebound. Lucky they weren't able to get a bucket to go. Steinloff a little strong. And it's Miyuchas now. Dan, no good. Alex Goodbye. Rosenblatt. Hollander. Ball almost poked away. Ten left on the shot clock. It's goodbye. Box out orders. Rosenblatt. Oh, that'll be an offensive foul. They met face to face. Luckily, no one got hurt. Wolfpack basketball. Great charge taken right there from Ethan List. Watch your lips. And this and the second the second foul, I believe, on Rosenblatt. Coach Monty Mazel is the new coach for these Eula Panthers 
done such an excellent job this season, really turning this program around. He'll keep Rosenblatt in the game for now. Avante, number 24, in the game as Eula gets the steal. A good defense from Steinloff right there in the corner. Steinloff, last game, played some big minutes for this Eula Panthers team. He's a stout defender and he shows it off there. As a foul is called on the Wolfpack. And if I'm not mistaken, is he your cut? Is he your cousin, Charlie? He is. Steinloff? Indeed a great defender. Did a great job last game. Stepping into the action. Gets a nice early steal right there. Great job by Steinloff. He'll try a three. Off left. Rebound grab by Vivante. And it's Miyuchas now. Steps into a deep one. No good. Steinloff grabs the rebound. A nice box out by Yashapur. Both teams going a little bit cold from downtown. The bye, he loves that. No good as well. Back comes Miyuchas. That's an open three. Back iron. Offensive rebound by List. He'll try a three. No good. Bodies flying everywhere. Foul's going to be called on Valley Tora. Wow, haven't seen him make it in a little bit of time. No, we have not. Luckily, no one got hurt on that play. Almost a dog pile on the floor right there. But that's what happens when you live and die by the three ball. Sometimes you get streaky. We saw Valley Tora come out hot in this game, knocking down a ton of three balls. Gone cold so far in the second quarter. Let's see if you look and capitalize getting some points on the offensive end, cutting this nine point deficit. Barak. The Yukas doing a nice job on Rosenblatt in the corner. Barak. Goodbye. Falls. Still keeps his dribble. That'll be a foul, a blocking foul. Called on Vivante. Vivante not happy with the call right there, but look for Rosenblatt to make his mark right now offensively. Hasn't taken too many shots. He's the leading scorer for them. Look for him to get aggressive. Javi Zad checks in. Steinloff checks out. Javi Zad right away on the board. So both teams on inbound passes have had a little bit of lapses in defense. Indeed they have. But I love the take right there from Javidzad. Created that himself with the one dribble, little floater, the little guy able to get it to go. It's Miyukas with the LA fans getting into it. He'll try three. Ooh, rattles it home. And turns around, gives a little smirk to the Eula Panthers faithful as Johnny Dan almost comes up with a steal right there. I feel like that's every possession. He's almost coming up with a steal. This time he'll get called for a foul. John again, tenacious on defense. All over the place, always. This guy's motor never stops. Rarely even sits out. Doubt he'll see the bench at any point in this game if it stays close for the rest of the way. Job is Ed. Yeah, it'll be a travel. 152 to go in the first half. The Wolfpack up by 10. Both teams started off this game really hot. Have seemed to have cooled down offensively. But as we know, especially with the Wolfpack, they could get going in any second. Yes, they can. Yuchas, that's a tough three falling away. Yashapur grabs it. And maybe a bit of a heat check right there for Mayuhas. Leaning to his right, the fadeaway. This place would have gone bananas had that gone in. Javizad. Underhead, scoop play. Look at that. And Coach Mizell's for Eagle Panthers loves to see that. Some firepower off the bench. He said it in the pregame show, but that's what they're going to need in this one. Mayuchas, beautiful pass. Well, one, one referee called the block, one referee called the charge. 
I believe it's a charge. And it's going to be a charge. The referee underneath was prepared to call a block right there. The half-court referee swooped in and called a charge, and a huge call. That will be the third on Johnny Dan. So with him in foul trouble, Coach Schwartzberg will elect to keep him in the game. But he'll have the defense sit back, deciding not to press for the last minute. And usually Johnny Dan playing the middle right there, but now he's been moved to the side. Barak, Yashapur, turn around, no good. Foul will be called. That will be the sixth on the Yule Panthers. So the next one will send Valley Tor to the line for a one and one. 47.5 seconds to go in the first half. Maybe Valley Tor looking for a quick two for one. But they don't seem to be pushing it so much. We're not going to be on the UFAS. Open three. No good. Rebound by Yashapur. Shot clock turned off. Yula can hold for one if they so choose. That's a three. No good. Miyuchas grabs. And now they'll have a chance for the last shot. Probably an ill-advised shot there by Ishai Rosenblatt. A little bit. You can see the frustration on Coach Mizell's face. Did not want Rosenblatt taking that shot. Yuchas, Johnny Dan with three, pulls up, back iron, and that'll do it. So an entertaining first half. Sees Valley Toro up by a score of 25 to 17. We're gonna send it down to our sideline reporter, Barrett Camplin, for a camp setup halftime show, Barrett. Thank you, Charlie. Exciting. Exciting, exciting. Energetic, it's fun. But how is, is there a crowd impact at all? Because it's very loud in here, so how do you focus? How do you keep the guys focused? I just let them play. Let I them don't play? have to yell instructions, I just let them play. And Gotta keep it simple. What's it gonna take to win it all today? What's it gonna take? Uh, make sure they don't score any more points the second half. Keep them scoreless? I think that will help us win the game. All right, best of luck, Coach. Uh, appreciate it. Back to you guys over there. Thank you, Varad. Thank you, Coach. Short and to the point. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. Do not go anywhere. Second half. At Jumpshot, we believe that basketball is not an individual or isolated event that happens in your life, only on the court. With that in mind, we created a program giving kids the skills to get better at basketball while also tapping into the hidden potential of how you can get better at the very game of life itself. We're taking basketball and we're supplementing it with a heavy load of thorough learning, chesed opportunities, and a focus on personal growth. When you get home from the summer, you will be a better basketball player. You gotta be willing to give us your all, but not for us. You gotta be willing to give it to yourself. See you next summer on Jump Shot. My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of the cell. I made my painting from scratch, like really from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning.
What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clip today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. Hello, everyone. Welcome back into the Max Stern Athletic Center. This is the Step It Up Basketball Camp Halftime Show. We've got big news. Camp Step It Up is back at Hobart College in Geneva, New York for the summer of 2023. Camp will start on June 21st and end on August 2nd with one to six week options. So we have an option for you. Hobart is located just four and a half hours north of New York City and busing will be offered to camp from New York Antina. New York City, that is Antina. Camp is open to all boys and girls grades three to 12 with one to six weeks week options available. Gorgeous campus facilities include air conditioned rooms, six indoor basketball courts, a weight room, a lakefront and a beachfront on and near campus, lounges and more. For more information, email office at campsteppitup.com or visit time to step it up .com or call 888-600-0908. The Wolfpack up on the Panthers by a score of 25 to 17. It was a really high flying and fun first half. Asher, what did you see there from both teams? Yeah, first of all, exquisite play from Valley Tor, especially on the offensive end. Came out firing, doing what they do best, knocking down three balls time and time again in that first quarter. We saw them cool off a little bit in the second quarter, but we've continued to mention that it's going to take grit, it's going to take hustle, and it's going to take hard work for Eula, crashing the offensive glass, getting on the floor for loose balls. That's what Eula's going to need to pull out a win in this one. Fortunate, I think, for them to only be down eight at half with all of the offensive rebounds and forced turnovers from the Valley Tour Wolfpack. But look for Coach Monty Mazels to give them some encouragement, some motivation during that halftime break. And look for them to come out firing. I love to see the bench play from Eula with Aaron Javidzog coming off the bench, getting two quick buckets for the Panthers. Look for that to continue. We know their bench runs pretty deep, but their starters, their best player, Rosenblatt, Yishai Rosenblatt, don't think he's gotten on the board yet. Valley Torre has made it a point to try and take him out of the game. So look for him to try and get going as well. A reminder coming up next, the other semifinal game between SAR and Shell Hebbett. Going to be on Max Live as well. Winner of that game will face the winner of this game Monday at around 2.20, 2.30. So eight minutes on the third quarter clock. 16 left in the second half. A trip to the tier one championship on the line. Asher, you've been in this position before. What are these players thinking right now? What's going through their minds? Just have to stay calm, cool, and collected. Don't let Valley Tora take them out of their game. Swing the ball around. 
and again, get the ball to their top scorer in Yishai Rosenblatt. Just to see one bucket go in can change everything for them. And right at the gate, Yuhas turns the ball over, so it'll be Panther basketball. John again back to his spot in the middle of the court, hunting those steals. It's Rosenblatt. Barack will reset. Look to get going here in the second half. Goodbye. Athletic pass into Yasherpur. Goes up with it. Layup no good. Rebound. Yasherpur had it, but a foul will be called on him. Loose ball foul. Yeah, and although he got called for the foul right there, Coach Mizell's love to see the aggressiveness on that right there from Yashapur. Not able to get it to go, but the hustle is exactly what Yula needs to get back in this game. Oh, Johnny Dan. Layup was too strong. Impressive to even get to that point. Barak the other way. Hollander. Rosenblatt. Barak. Yasher Port, great movement, and it's capped off by Barak. Exactly as you said, great movement right there from the Panthers, cutting the deficit to just six. Love the give and go action. Barak catching and shooting right away, exactly what they need. Now it's List, he's got six on the game. Miyuchas, another Aaron pass. So that's two quick turnovers for the Wolfpack. And you look to cut this lead to four, even three on this possession. Goodbye, he loves that. He doesn't hit it, back comes Miyuchas to Dan. Hezzy. That shot's blocked by Hollander. Rebibo thought he had an open floater. Hollander had other plans. The defense from Eula really ramping up in the second half. Hollander, Joshua Corp found himself wide open, but missed the mid-range jumper. Back comes Miyuchas. Ball stolen from behind by Joshua Corp. It's been a little sloppy thus far for Valley Tora. A great hustle by Joshua Corp, getting back defensively after missing that shot on the other end. Coming up with a steal for the Panthers. Coach Mizells wants them to run the play. Let's see how effective it is. Rosenblatt, fading away, no good. Dan Skies with the rebound, and he'll look to push. He'll pull up for the free throw line and drain it. Impressive shot by Johnny Dan. Very impressive shot. Rosenblatt right in his face, able to get that to go anyway, despite the defense. But the play drawn up on that previous possession by Coach Mizells, I like it a lot, trying to get Rosenblatt going a little bit, not able to get the shot to go. But that was an ISO called for Rosenblatt, and a charge I think that'll be the third on Rosenblatt as well. And Coach Mizell's is livid. He thought the defender was moving. The ref begged to differ. And Valley Tora with a little bit of momentum up eight points with the ball. We saw the replay there. Those calls obviously so tough for the referee. That's a three from List. No good. The Bebo no good. Dan fouled on the rebound. And the coach for the Wolfpack, Coach Schwartzberg, not happy with the shot selection by Gabriel Rebibo. And Eula with a great job of boxing out right there, but just didn't finish the job. They had two guys boxing out that boxing out Dan, he forgot to go after the rebound. List no good on the three, another offensive rebound by the Wolfpack. This time it's Vivante, he's fouled, and he'll get two shots. So the Wolfpack doing a great job crashing the offensive glass. Yeah, and you know, 
accounting for the shot attempts, not sure if Valley Tor is shooting a much higher percentage than you are. Just the sheer volume of attempts they've had this game. Obviously going to have a lead with all the forced turnovers and offensive rebounds. They're coming up with two or three attempts per possession. So bound to have a lead with numbers like that. Look for Coach Mizell's to emphasize the defensive rebounding, boxing out, going after loose balls, and limiting Valley Tor to just one shot per possession. It's interesting. They checked out Yashirport, and the Wolfpack came down and grabbed three offensive boards. As Dan on cue, another rebound. And that'll be a foul. No, a travel called on the Yukas. He's just now learning about it and doesn't really understand how it was called. But Yashapur on the bench, the best rebounder for this Eula team. Robin, number one, had checked in. And I couldn't help but laughing seeing Mayuhas' face as he turned around, realizing it was a travel. Completely perplexed with that call. Still up nine points right now as Eula able to easily break the press. And the Yukas called for a foul on Rosenblatt. And Rosenblatt going to the line for what should be, I believe, his first and second point totals for this game. He's their leading scorer. Hopefully this will give him some momentum, some confidence with 4.16 remaining in the third quarter. Just seeing the, just seeing the ball go in the basket right there to change everything around for his confidence. Look for him to continue to be aggressive. Rosenblatt goes two for two. It's Johnny Dan. Doubled in the corner, but gives it back out to Miyuchas. Dan, a three. Job is out with the rebound. Robin. Going all the way, coast to coast. But here comes Valley Torre and it's Dan. Blocked by Rosenblatt. Ball on the ground, who wants it? Jump ball, Eula basketball. Wow, end to end action. In a five point game, Johnny Dan running the floor very effectively. Threw it down to him, but a great recovery defensively by the Panthers, not allowing him to get an easy two. It seems like the momentum has swung a little bit in this arena. You were only down five points with possession. Rosenblatt, his third block of the day. Goodbye. Barack, a three ball. Short. He gets his own rebound. Job is out, couldn't corral the pass inside. Timeout will be called by Eula. Wow, things heating up here in the Max Stone Athletic Center. Five point game. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. sessions taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info sessions slash info dash sessions. That's yu.edu slash pathways dash info hyphen sessions. Start planning for your future today. A little bit of a tongue twister that read right yeah. there. Slash dash as the inbounds A jump ball right there. You don't often see that out of a timeout. Play was not run successfully. So the Wolfpack will gain possession. I'm not sure if the scores table has gotten yet that that was a jump ball. Arrow still facing Valley Tour's way. List. What a big three. Stymieing that Eula come back for the time being. And a great shot by the veteran List right there. 
That will be called. It'll go on Johnny Dan. That'll be his fourth foul. And a huge call right there. Pardon me, that's a second. I know I probably just got everyone on the Panthers sideline excited. It's only a second foul. As he almost gets the steal, but Gabay's got it. Takes it in, uses his right hand, lays it up and in. Miuchas, oh, foul called on Robin, a good call. It was a reaching foul. And that'll be the fifth foul on the Eula Panthers. So only one more before Valley Toro will be in the bonus for a one-on-one. -on -one. Keep that in mind as this game progresses. So Yukos, baseline floater, no good. The follow, no good. It's still with the Wolfpack. Dan, down to Miyukas. Back out the list. Tough shot, it got deflected. Another rebound in the end one. Johnny Dan, they're putting on an offensive rebounding clinic. And just a grown man's put back right there for Johnny Dan, flying into the lane, reaching over the, the heads of two Eula Panthers defenders. Just too big in there, and not much Eula Panthers can do on the defensive glass right now. And if you're Eula, you're getting stops on one of the toughest teams to stop. And they just keep on getting more and more opportunities. It's got to be taxing on these defenders. Barack. He'll cross and drive. Gets inside. Contact. Two shots coming. Wasn't able to get that one to go, but I love the aggressiveness from Josh Barack. Normally known as a facilitator. A lot of assists this season for Josh Barak, but would love to see him get some more shots up. We saw him earlier in this quarter with a nice give and go, knocking down a mid-ranger. So look for him to continue to attack the basket. That was on the day. First free throw is no good. Come to Como Pizza for some great pizza, pasta, salads, and even awesome breakfast options. We'll be streaming the games in the store. You can get a great place to watch the games while you eat. Second free throw, same result. So Barak cannot execute on those two free throws and the lead stays at nine for the Wolfpack. Open three, list, short. Whose rebound is it? It's a jump ball, a lot of jump balls this game. This one going to Eula. That's a really deep three behind even the college line. It was, but you know what they say about deep threes, long shots lead to long rebounds. And Valley Torre has been all over those long rebounds the entire way. Rosenblatt, he's gotta get going. He'll be tied up, another jump ball. This time he goes to Valley Torre. And it looks like Eula will try to press. 150 to go here in this third quarter. Nine point game. And beautifully broken by Valley Toro. Dan. Nothing called. Ball is deflected. He'll try again from the mid range. No good. Another offensive rebound, but this time it's taken back by the Panthers. Goodbye. Barak, foul, two shots coming. Again with the aggressiveness by Barak, getting to the line for two more. Missed on both of his last attempts. But continues to stay confident. Going right back to the line for another two right here. Johnny Gans got a double-double for the Wolfpack. Just this time Barak hits the first. Vivante checking back into the game. Johnny Dan gonna take his first seat. Probably just a quick breather. But let's see if Eula can capitalize on Johnny Dan not being in the game. And the 
pass works. And a great force turnover right there from the Panthers. Seven point game, a minute 15 to go in the third quarter. It's Robin, he'll take it in. Leaves the floater just short. And a nice rebound by Vivante. Miyuchas, cross court list. He'll pull it back out. We're under a minute in this third quarter. Miyuchas with Dubai on him. Tries to split the defense and a foul will be called. That'll be a one and one right here. For their best free throw shooter, Miyuchas. Yuchas and Dan, a one-two combo. Maybe the best one-two combo in this tournament right now. As the first free throw rolls out, Rosenblatt skies for the rebound. Here comes Barak. He's quick. He gets inside. Blocking foul call. Two shots coming for Barak. And again, three possessions in a row. Right to the cup for Josh Barak. Great aggressiveness. We saw him miss his first two, hit his last two, trying to extend it to four straight for Josh Barak and cut this deficit to just five points. Feels like it's been all Valley Tora this quarter. Though Yula done a great job to cut away at that, at that deficit. Dan and Rabibo looking to check back into the game. We'd like to thank Chopsticks for being a proud Max Live sponsor. For the best Chinese food in Teaneck, you've got to go to Chopstick. Chopsticks, head to ChopsticksUSA.com to order online. The link is in the description of this video. So the free throw, no good. For Barak, goes in black and take a seat. Steinloff checks in. Dan back in the game for Valley. One to two. So he went 0 of two, he went two of two, and now he goes one to two. I believe that equals three of six. Yes, three of six is correct. And it's Miyuchas. Four seconds. Differ between the shot and game clock as Miyuchas gets fouled. That's not a smart foul by Robin. And the fourth may, foul on Robin right there. As you may have heard, it's the fourth foul. On Robin, he's going to have to be careful. He may have to go take a seat. Miyuchas had a one on one last time. He missed on the front end. So he'll look to make this first one and extend the lead to seven. Short, but of course, Valley Torre comes up with the rebound. List gets all the way inside and hits the leg. Seven seconds left in the corner. It's Steinloff to Robin with three. He's gonna have to hurry. Gets inside, floats it up, rolls around the rim and out. End of the third quarter. We'll pack up eight. Don't go anywhere. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clipped today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. Welcome back in for fourth quarter action. Winner goes to the championship game tomorrow. And if you want to receive Sarachek news and updates and get close game alerts, you've got to join our WhatsApp group. The link is in the description of this YouTube video. 
the tier one, tier two, tier three championships. All going on tomorrow. It's going to be an exciting day. You're not going to want to miss out on any of it. And Asher, eight minutes left for this Eula team to try to map the comeback. They're going to have to do a better job on the rebounding, especially on the defensive end. Indeed they will. Been the story of this game the entire way for the Valley Tor Wolfpack. Crashing the glass, securing offensive rebounds, getting two or three shots per possession. So look for Eula to try and box out, limit the offensive rebounding opportunities in this one. And I think they're scoring enough points. Just not doing well enough defensively as Hollander unable to come up with the three right there. Second and third chance opportunities killing you in this game. Valley Tora can beat you in so many different ways. They're gritty, they're skilled, and they're looking to make the championship. Johnny Dan, kick out. Three's way too strong. That was Cohen Tag. Now it's Barack. Hollander, he's open for three. Leaves it just short. Cohen Tag got it. And here comes Miyuchas. List. Thought about a three, but smartly kicks it back out. And it's Johnny Dan. Stops a necessity right now for the Eula Panthers team. Johnny Dan drives it to the teeth of the defense, throws it up, no good. Rosenblatt makes sure he secures that one. Good 1-2-2 two, two zone defense right there from Eula. Not allowing any easy shot attempts. Hollander with Miyukas on him. That will be called. On the collect. It'll be on number two. Ariel Cohen tab. And that play was drawn up specifically for Rosenblatt, trying him, trying to get him a post up isolation right there against Mayuchas. Hollander, another chance at a three, no good. So he has he's had a couple open looks, hasn't been able to connect on them yet. Valley Tor will call a timeout. 619 to go in the fourth quarter. Eight point game. Quick commercial break. Six nineteen on the clock. A date with destiny on the line. Asher, what have you seen thus far in the second half? Yeah, the past three possessions for the Eagle, pa for the Eagle Panthers. Three missed three-point attempts by Hollander out there. Not able to get any of those to go, unfortunately. But Valley Torres three-pointers haven't been falling the entire game either. The difference is that Valley Torres has been crashing the glass the entire way. Contrast that with Eula. Very few offensive rebounds this game. So look for them to get aggressive. Try and, try and secure a few more offensive boards. Get more than one shot attempt on each possession. List sets and fires. Dan offensive rebound. No good on the follow. And Ishai grabs the rebound. Good bay. Goodbye, pardon me. Rosenblatt. Barak spinning. No good on the jumper. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be the Wolfpack basketball. Lead's been at eight for quite some time now. It has, and I like the shot right there from Barak. Not able to get it to go. But I like the aggressiveness. Look for him to continue to attack. Yukas cross court. List will try another three. No good. Yasha course guys for the rebound. Goodbye. Rosenblatt wanted it. Barak didn't see him, so they'll slow it down. Not a great pass by Yasha 
Easily picked off by Dan. Johnny Dan with an iconic moment in last year's championship. Hoping to get there again. He turns it over. Here comes Barak. Twists his way inside. yashapur has got it underneath. And it's a six point game. A good straight up defense right there from Mayuhaus. Not giving him the and one right there. Mayuhaus. Pulls up from mid-range, does, doesn't go, grabs his own rebound. And it'll be called for a travel. He was falling over when he caught it, just trying to throw it up, but he gets called for the travel before that. Chance to make it a four three-point game. Johnny Dan on goodbye. Foul will be called off the ball. And the seventh foul. A loose ball foul right there, I believe. Will send Yashapur to the line. Has a chance to cut the lead to five or four right here. Pretty mind-blowing that this game is so close, given all of the offensive rebounds and the number of shot attempts that Valley Torres had. But Eula's been able to sink him. They've been able to make him count. It's a big free throw. No good, empty possession. Johnny Dan. Corner three, Miyuchas. No good. Rebound off of Valley Tora. Two players ran into each other. That's Dan and Cohen Tab. So it'll be Panther basketball. And both of these teams look completely gassed right now. It's getting loud in here. It's crunch time in the semifinals. The Bay fouled and won. And a huge take from Goodbye right there. Has his Panthers faithful on their feet. This is the loudest they've been the entire day. Trying to cut the deficit to just three points. Could be a one-possession game after this one. Alex Gabay had been quiet. But the biggest basket for Eula thus far and a chance to make it a one-possession game. And he does just that. Substitutions, number 24, Raz Vivante coming back in for the Wolfpack. Cohen Tab will take a seat. level rises. Johnny Dan, big three. Oh, he got it. When you need a bucket, go to your best player. And Johnny Dan doing what he does best, knocking down the triple, increasing this lead to six. A cold shot right there from Johnny Dan. Goodbye, look at the answer. Back iron, rebound to Rosenblatt. Skies and one. Back and forth we go. And that's the way to get your star scorer involved. Crashing the glass right there. Been the story of the day for Valley Tora the, the entire game. Rosenblatt saying he can collect some offensive board as well. Getting the and one to go, trying to cut the deficit to just three points again. Another big free throw coming. Leaves it just short. So a four point game, three minutes on the clock. Who's gonna be the hero? It's Miyuchas. Dribbles into the corner. Beautiful pass, blocked by Rosenblatt. He pushes it out to Barak. Dan behind him. Ball knocked out of bounds off the leg of Barak. What a hustle play by Johnny Dan. Wolfpack basketball. Dan and Mayuchas discussing what to do. It's Vivante now. 
and he traveled. And it was Barak who took away the passing lane and caused Vivante's pivot foot to move. And a couple turnovers in the last three minutes of this game as the nerves ramp up a little bit. Robin checks into the game. Four Holland, fouls. Hollander checks out. It looks like he hurt his arm. Four fouls Robin has. He saw him get a couple baskets in the first half of this game. Look for him to stay aggressive. Levante on Barak. Inside to Yashapur, what a pass. Blocked by List. And he'll take it back the other way. Miyuchas slows it down. He's got Yashapur on him. Oh, he'll hezzy, get inside, float it up, no good. Offensive board. Yashapur ripped it away, but it'll stay with the Wolfpack. And the veteran move right there by Mayuchas, recognizing the mismatch, pulling the ball out, and going to work. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get the teardrop to go. But a veteran play right there. The Valley Tora, of course, with another offensive rebound. Hollander going to get some medical attention. We hope he's okay. Vivante, now Miyuchas. Dan. Inside, Vivante, ball on the floor. Eula's got it. And back comes Rosenblatt. A chance to cut the lead to two. Hero is inside, no good on the lay. Rebound, it's gonna be a jump ball, it's gonna go the Wolfpack's way. So Rosenblatt had the chance to make it one possession. Uh-oh, looks like someone's injured on the other side of the court. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break and be back. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. Oh my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clipped today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. Ethan List was the one who went down. He seems to be okay. Looking to check back in at the next dead ball. It's Valley Toro with a minute and a half left, up four. Johnny Dan, that's a huge triple. Oh, he got it! Seven point game. How will Eula respond? Rosenblatt drives in Yashapur. Layup goes. Lead back to five. And this is a huge defensive possession for the Panthers. Great take from Rosenblatt though, not wasting any time. Getting right to the cup, dishing it off to the layup. Dan gets fouled, that'll be free throws. See Johnny Dan taking it into his own hands. Blocking foul called on Yashapur. That'll be his fourth. Team's ninth, there will be a one-on-one. -on -one. Two shots, pardon me. Timeout called by the Panthers. Dower, five-point game, 53.7 on the clock. 
what are the coaches saying to their teams in these huddles right now? Monty Mazel telling his team definitely to stay disciplined, play intense defense without fouling though. Not a great foul right there on Dan, although it'll be a one and one. He is an excellent free throw shooter, but a five point lead right now for Valley Tora. You listen, try to come down next possession, try and get a quick bucket. No time to waste. And a great job on that last possession by Yishai Rosenblatt getting right to the cup, dishing it off to Yashapur, able to get the layup to go quickly. But right now, only 53 seconds remaining, down five points. Eula praying for a miss on the first one right here, and then look for them to push the ball down the floor immediately. You can bet Coach Mizells will drop a play for Eula next possession. An excellent coach, longtime coach at D. Toledo. His first year coaching the Eula Panthers right now has really turned this program around, made them a real contender. Playing the semifinals right now, win or lose. A great fight against this elite Valley Tour Wolfpack team. And Johnny Dan, some legendary moments in the Saratech tournament. Hitting a huge three-pointer for the Wolfpack. And looking to ice this game with free throws. And continued defense. And the Valley Tour fans are hyped. But a hush falls over the crowd. First free throw. Nothing but net. So he'll get a second. Dan goes 2-2 two two from the line. Eula's going to have to hurry. 50 seconds on the clock, seven point game. Who's gonna play tomorrow in the tier one championship? The bye, it's Rosenblatt. He stepped out of bounds. Big turnover there by the Panthers. Indeed, a costly turnover right there. As Javidzad, I believe, will check into the game right now for the Panthers. You will have to foul immediately on the inbound. Johnny Dan gets fouled. Nope, that's a timeout called. 41.8 to go. Valley Tour calls a timeout. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. Welcome back in. It's crunch time in the Maxton Athletic Center, 44 to 37. Valley Tora Wolfpack lead to the Eula Panthers. And we were discussing this a little bit earlier, but Valley Tora, they've been grabbing so many offensive rebounds. There's so many more opportunities. Indeed they have. We just got updated by our stat keepers. 15 for 60. 15 for 60 is Valley Tora's field goal percentage in this one, 25%. So the team shoots 25% in the game. The vast majority of the time, they'll end up losing the game. But due to just the sheer volume of shots they've had in this game, all of the offensive rebounds, all of the forced turnovers, just show so many shots on the basket. And they're up seven points right now, 41 seconds remaining. Hard to beat a team when they're able to get 60 shots up. Johnny Dan is gonna break that press. The Yuchas now. Thought he got fouled, now he gets fouled. <laughs> Tenth team foul on Eula, so two shots coming. Former Yuchas. It's really like two Batmans. There's no Batman and Robin with Miyuhas and Johnny Dan. As he connects on the first. Again, stay tuned for next game. 
Essie Arbor shall have it. Hollander checking back into the game. Yasha Poor going to take a seat. It's miracle time for Eula. They're going to need something special if they want to come out on top. Barak tries a three. No good. Rebounded by Miyuchas. He's fouled. And Valley Tora can taste it. Yep, this game is all but over. Valley Tora returning to their second Saracek Championship appearance in a row. They'll play the winner of Shalhevet versus SAR in the next game. We know most players on this team, on this Valley Tora team, were juniors last year. Their best players, arguably their three best players sticking around this year in Mayuhas, Ethan List, and of course Johnny Dan, who's been everywhere in this one. So no surprise here, but a really hard fought game by the Eula Panthers as we see them empty their bench. They're gonna come up a little short, but nothing to hang their heads about. They had a great tournament, but Valley Tora, just too much to handle. Miyuchas went one for two. 10 point game. There's gonna be a substitution timeout by the referee. And the We Live in the Valley chants being sung by the Valley Tour fans as they're gonna win this battle of LA. Indeed, and you know, Love to see Valley Tor embracing that chant. Used to be chanted by the Shalhevet, Firehawks, and Eula Panther face, faithful as a pejorative, making fun of the Valley Tora Wolf Pack. But love to see Valley Tora embracing that chant and embracing that they live in the Valley. What's wrong with the Valley? Never understood what's wrong with the Valley. Well, it definitely produces some good basketball players. Indeed they have. Eighteen point four to go. Coaches probably just giving their last messages to their teams before this one sees triple zeros. Both teams fought so hard today. but it's Valley Tora who are gonna come out on top and will be playing tomorrow in the championship game. Trying to make it two straight Saratech championships as that one's no good and that'll do it. Valley Tora gonna take this one by a score of 47 to 37. Don't go anywhere, we have the YU Pathways post game show coming up after these quick commercial breaks.
rebounds for Kennedy, but take it back by, by Leifer. Given to Terrell. Terrell! Dick Ryan, Terrell Kumar! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the YU Pathways post game show. Start your future career sooner and save time and money with one of our YU Pathways programs, earning credits towards or applying for a graduate degree as early as your junior year. Visit yu.edu slash pathways for more information. This past game just saw the Wolfpack beat the Eula Panthers by a score of 47 to 27. And now Varad Kaplan standing by on the sidelines with our players of the game. Varad. Charlie, boys, it was a physical game. You got a little injured. I see the sweat. It was physical, the audience played a big role. What took it to win? It was a very ugly game, both teams missing really good shots and it's about just grinding it out. At the end we made, we hit a few shots, hit a few free throws and that was the game. We just had to grind it out, it was a very ugly game. I totally agree with Johnny, you know, Noam and Johnny coming off, absolutely, both of them had amazing games last game. They weren't able to find like their stroke early on in the game so they, they made up with it on defense. And that's really what won us the game. They, they converted their, usually they score, they give us 20, 30, 40, and they really converted that to, to defense with me and a couple of my other teammates hitting shots. Really helped us like get the edge on you, and I think that's, that's why we won. Okay, one more question though. It's your second trip back, it's your back-to-back -back trip to the championship. What is it gonna take to win it all again? It's gonna be very tough, it's gonna be very tough. We just gotta stay together. We have to stay together and we have to grind it out one more game. We gotta do it together. It's gonna take, take preparation, it's gonna take mental toughness, and honestly, it's just gonna take us playing together as a team, because when we don't play together as a team, we're really nothing. Thank you guys so much. Best of luck to you tomorrow. We'll see you back here. Back to you guys up there. Thank you, Varad. Thank you, Johnny, Dan, and Ethan List. It was a very entertaining game. Wolfpack beating the Panthers by a score of 47 to 37. For Asher Dower, I'm Charlie Bantheim. Wishing you a good rest of your Sunday. Coming up next, we have SAR versus Shell Hevet. You're not going to want to miss it.